Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, citizens of all of the universe, from Fun Squad Command Headquarters in beautiful and serene Fort Lyon, Colorado. On this Thursday, the 29th day of March 2018, we're listening to a little kid rock. Cowboy baby. How we doing? I hope everyone is well. Uh, I am doing pretty well. Uh, thank you for uh, joining me on this fine sunny day. We got some sun here last night, and so that was great. Because um, uh, Lord knows we needed it, so um, that was that was really good to see it uh, rain. It rained quite a lot, so um, that was very cool. Um, I hope we get some more rain today. Um, I have a lot to tell you about. I have a action-packed fun squad week so far. Um, I haven't done a broadcast since uh, Monday. So um, I'm going over my notes here, what I wanted to tell you. Um, I'm loving this new software that I got because I got lots of slides and stuff that I can, can show you real quick. Um, I just wanted to show you real quick. Um, so the uh, sunrise and the sunset today. Sunrise in Los Angeles is at 6.41 a.m. this morning, and it's set in time is 7.13 p.m. So, there's that. Um, we had a reporter here yesterday. Uh, Jim did the community meeting yesterday, and um, we got introduced to the reporter. So that was very cool. He's doing a story on... Specifically, healthcare, but healthcare with homeless people and people in um, transition or um, drug addiction problems, mental health problems, homelessness, and so he's here doing some um, some research for the story, and he seemed like a, a really nice guy, and so we were glad to have him here yesterday. Um, it was great to uh, it was great to uh, get some exposure uh, from the press, so uh, I was really happy to see that. So um, uh, it was um, it was encouraging to know that uh, you know somebody cares so <laughs> about us. So um, but um, Jim in the community meeting uh, said some, some he was really funny yesterday. But um, so he was talking about um, uh, well first he started off with um, <laughs> with um, a definition of a word bedeviled. He's like, have you ever heard that term bedeviled? So, um, we looked at it, you know, and so bedevil, uh, is, um, you know, to torment, you know, to harass maliciously or diabolically as with doubts, distractions, or worries, to possess as with a devil, bewitch, to cause confusion or doubt in muddle or confound, or to beset or hamper continuously. And that goes along with um, his his little story for the day, which was that. Um, so in recovery, things you know are a little different than when we were out on the street, and um, so he sort of explained it in sort of this graph, uh, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, uh, so the differences between um, our. Uh, our um, extremes um, when we're in addiction, when we're in the heat of addiction, and when we're in um, our recovery. So here's what the graph, uh, you know, looks like uh, when we're in our addiction. So um, you know, here's your, here's your baseline here. You know, the sort of your zero point, like when you're sleeping, <laughs> and then. So when we go up here, okay, so we wake up and, you know, we're okay, but we live, realize it's 7.30 and the liquor store opens at 8. So, woo, we got a lift here. And so we go to the liquor store and we're at 7.45 and, oh, man, why don't they open at 7.30? So now we got in a bad mood again because it's only 7.45. Now we got to wait. They should be here early. Why aren't they here? Oh, but finally it opens and we get us a bottle. And we drink the bottle. But we're out of booze now, we're out of money, so now we come way down here. So now we need to panhandle. Okay, so we're going to go panhandle for a little... Ooh, I got five bucks. So, woo, now I got some booze again. Yay! And now I've drank the booze. It's only, you know, a pint. So now I'm way down here. I'm bummed out. What am I going to do now? 
So, oh, I know, I got a good idea. I can go to the soup kitchen and, you know, we'll get some lunch. We just hang out. So we get some lunch here and we just hang out for a while. Oh, but then my buddy finally, he shows up. Hey, he got a $20 rock lick and he got a rock and a bottle. So let's go to the spot and do it. And then we get to the spot and all of a sudden we discover that the rock is the real rock. And now we're really bummed out because we got burned for 20 bucks. We're broke. And so now it's time to go to bed. And so we go to sleep and then we go back to our baseline. So um, I just thought that was a, a neat representation. So the other representation is of us in recovery, which um, I'll show you now. Is um, yeah, that one. So um, oh, right. so yeah. <laughs> so um, still learning the software. It's great software though. But so in our recovery, um, our 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 streams aren't as bad as our baseline again. And so we wake up kind of in a bad mood, but you know, then we go get some coffee and some breakfast, and oh, then we oh, we got a call. We missed a call from Social Security. Uh, case manager told me, and so oh, the Social Security called back. So now we talk to so, oh, now I'm in a bad mood again. Cause Social Security, you know, wants me to make another appointment or such nonsense. Got to jump through 20 million more hoops. But this is all just part of life, and and so that's what happens in life. And so now we're gonna go get some lunch. So we have some lunch. Oh, I gotta do my laundry now. I hate doing laundry, so I gotta do my laundry. And oh, I'm gonna go listen to some music now in my room. My roommate not there I can jam music out and listen to my favorite songs and then um, so now there's a song and oh it made me sad and so now oh there's a song that made me glad and now um, it's time to go back to bed and so our streams in recovery as you can see are a lot less extreme so um, I thought that was a great illustration and he did it a lot funnier uh, than I can do it but um, it was a great um, example of uh, of how you know the differences between recovery and, and um, addiction um, so that was pretty much all I have for you today boys and girls I wanted to share that with you real quick um, tomorrow is a busy day and this weekend is going to be an action-packed fun squad uh, weekend because I've got um, the church thing in the mountains and there's no smoking so we can't smoke um, we're going on the bus at six o'clock for Easter Sunday we're gonna have our breakfast in the mountains it should be fun I'll take lots of pictures um, oh and another fun squad thing that I forgot to show you guys look at what I got look at here look at oh you're gonna you're gonna love this so I got this thing here Woo wee look at that BAM that my friends is an iPad 3 that I got for myself it was 150 bucks for my roommate it comes with a case okay. and it's got 32 gigabyte and I thought it was very cool because my roommate did not want it he bought it because he wanted something that he could put a sim card in so he could um you know use it as a phone and get cellular data but he decided he didn't like it so I decided that I needed it you know because I've always wanted an iPad and I never had an iPad so um even though it's only an iPad 3, it's only 150 bucks, and it came with, you know, headphones and, you know, all kinds of stuff. So, um, I thought it was a good deal. So, uh, I've gotten it to work for the most part. Um, it was a challenge because, like I say, I've never had an iPad before, so it's pretty cool. Michelle has already FaceTimed me. Hi, Michelle. And thank you for FaceTiming me. And um, so, that's great. Um, and I will talk to you guys um, sometime this weekend after maybe after the um the mountain uh, expedition the fun squad expedition in the mountains for church uh and i will um talk to you guys later so i love you all and thank you very much and talk to you later bye